It's fuel system day for Hulk. We're getting this fleece in tank pump with their filtration system and the fuel filter delete installed. Let's get to it. So let's talk about all the parts we're putting on Hulk right now. So for starters, we've got the fleece power flow in tank fuel pump system. It's gonna provide enough pressure and volume to support whatever horsepower this 5.9 compounded Comrail is gonna make. Next, filtration. You do not have to replace the fuel filter with this, but it is highly recommended. So we're doing fleeces filter mount here. So the cool thing about this is it actually uses the fuel filter delete that you may already have on your truck, like this part right here. That's the third part of the equation and mounts underneath the hood. It's a three micron fuel filter water separator from Donaldson. It includes the water and fuel sensor. It even has the heater on here with the correct plug on there that kicks on exactly when the stock fuel heater would have. So it's a very seamless in integration, very seamless installation, and you're gonna be good and covered even in the colder climates. All right, so we've got Jesse down here doing the hard work. We're, gonna, we're getting ready to drop the tank, and once we do that, we'll be able to get out from underneath the truck and get the sending unit put in with the integrated pump. So we've got our nice clean tank out here on the workbench. We're gonna get our power flow installed in there. Uh, we do have a more in-depth video as far as putting this in the tank. It's for a sure flow, but the purpose remains the same. This one just has a pump on it. So we've got the locking ring unlocked. We do need to put our float on there, but we'll get it put in and get our lines hooked up. So let me point out here real quick, this is our stock sending unit. As you can tell, this did have a, a fuel system on it previously, but this has kind of been a test. We only put all kinds of stuff on this truck. So if you look inside that basket there, you can see there's a, a little pump right inside that basket. Not necessarily a bad pump, but doesn't move enough for what we need to do. Check out the bottom of the fleece one. There's two pumps. Two is more than one. Science. Kit comes with a new ring. So we can get rid of this old one, probably seeing better days. So we're gonna get the cleaned up, put a new O-ring on it. Get some lube on there. Just use a little bit of the residual diesel hanging out on the bottom of this thing. Let's talk about the orientation this pump's gonna sit. See that right there? There's our witness mark. We've got spot here, tab here. Doesn't take a genius. Line this tab up with that spot. So we've got it in the tank where it needs to be. The, uh, the float is free and we've got our tab lined up here. You may notice this sticks up tall. Well, basket is spring loaded. Just need to apply some pressure, push it down. You'll be good to go there. And we can get our locking ring ready as well. So once we get that pressed down with the tab in the right spot, we're good to go. Okay, so we had the locking ring in there. Luckily, Jesse was able to help me out. As you can see, the part of the tank here, uh, you need to kind of pound it until that notch lines up with that middle part there to retain it. And it's nice and snug. This thing is not going anywhere. A little pro tip for you guys here. Uh, the stock fuel lines use these clips. So you're gonna wanna take them off that we can put them on the new fleece bulkhead right there. We got our tank wrapped up, sending unit with the pump inside, the power flow system. So that's good to go. Jesse's gonna get underneath the truck and then we gotta start working on the fuel filter. So we've got our fuel filter on the motor in the stock location using that fleece fuel filter delete. Now we're getting the heater plugged in as well as the water and fuel sensor. 
And then we'll get the fuel tank back in the truck and get all the wires ran properly with zip ties, clipping the ends, making sure the loom's all there. And we're just about home free. All right, so we've got everything installed. Jesse put the fuel tank back up. Pressure's reading good. The wiring's all hooked up, so this thing is ready to rock. I'm very excited to see how this pump works out, especially because it's inside the tank, so we don't have anything hanging down. Came with all the wiring on there. Should be able to support, I believe it's 150 gallons per hour and about 17, 15 to 17 PSI. So we're dialed with that. We got a nice filtration system under there with the heater, which means it gets cold up here and we're gonna be fine. We're up here in Spokane, we see real winters, so we're good, sweet. If you have any questions on this, feel free to reach out. We've got sales technicians on the phone, 6 a.m., 6 p.m. Pacific time, Monday through Friday. Or you can shoot us an email, social media, whatever works best for you. For you. It's the end of an install, I'm tired. Jesse's tired, because Jesse's been working hard, but if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks for watching.